One of the old pro lights. Navarro hanging tough. In a 1450. Good little battle right there with our mini stock class. So we'll see how that thing shakes up as they come across the flag stand. Navarro in the 1450. Good to have Reno back. Great overhead shot. You see the layout of our track for the folks at home. Give it an overview of the short track here at Glen Helen. Now we're going to go follow our two class leaders now. As they drop in there for a little speed shop of drive by. Navar we know Navarro there. Setting that thing up as it comes down the front stretch right now. There goes Cannon, 56.184. And that open B8 driver, Reno. 56.774. So Madigan in that number two spot in our mini open. Anthony Choosy goes by. It's your mini stock leader. Yeah. And Vanistra right behind him. Now Vanistra's got, I believe it was Scott Johnson's old number 70 there. So great to see that truck still out and running on the course and still competitive. But Madigan having a good run there in the 47. So Madigan is in the open class with Cannon. So he'll be sitting second in class, respectively. Boy, it's going to be tightening up here. Madigan goes by the stripe. Now here comes a bunch of our mini stocks. Anthony Chusey, Venistra. There's Ryder Palmer. And good old Rob Orr. I wonder who's got more dents, Chusey or Orr. <laughs> There's not a street panel on those metal bodies that I know of. And that's what about beating and banging came from right there, John. When you get that California wrap, you just throw it over those uh, scratches and bumps and bruises. And it, it, that's what gives it the 3D effect. Yep. Straight yeah. off the showroom floor as we uh, reach that midway point. Time to re-rack, re-stack. See why Reno's hanging strong. Just a quick reminder for the folks here, uh, if you're going to be coming out tomorrow, make sure to join us after the first session over at the Etter Pits for the Racers for Christ Chapel Service with Steve Hansen, our chaplain, Sunday at 11 a.m. Team RFC. No, after looking at the uh, Domino's delivery out there in that patty panel, I think that pizza might be a slider. The cheese might be off to one side.
here they go. Outdoor battery says green, green, green. Reno gives a little bump to Cannon on the start. The break check by Cannon. But Cannon shot himself out of himself like a cannon. That was rather redundant. Reno, uh, Navarro in that second slot there. But look at this, Batigan able to move. Still stay out around in that second position, but he still got Reno there. Then you got Anthony Chusey, leader of the mini stocks, followed by Anistra, Ryder Palmer. And Ryder is in the 77 truck. Rob Orr actually now moved up into that third position, the 15, John. Yeah, great drive over there, here over the, uh, the 70 machine. So our mini open, it looks like this. Brian Cannon, your leader right now, over Thomas Madigan. And out on the track, as you guys see, the 1405 Reno Navarro overall in that number two ride. And then our mini stock, Anthony Chusey, the 36. Brent Beenstra, Rob Orr, your top three. Oh, Cannon flying it down in there to turn number one. Here comes Navarro. He's trying to get up there into the roost right now with your number one seat driver, Brian Cannon. So Chusey comes through. Veenstra and Orr. So Orr is the man on the move right now. As Dave was pointing out, got around Palmer, now finds himself in the third spot and uh, trying to chase down Veenstra for the number two. Oh, it looks like we have a driver coming to a slow. It looks like that's Anthony Chusey, I believe. So the 36 of Chusey actually into the infield. So that's going to give Veenstra the 70, the lead here with Orr, the 15 in the number two spot, and Ryder Palmer now taking up third on the podium. I was just looking. we got a few people watching from around the country and around the world. Here we've got Post Falls, Idaho. We've got Wales, Great Britain. The white flag is out right now, Dave. Yep. Michigan, Hawaii, ah, France. So cool. Horrible to see Anthony Chusey at the end here as it closing that final lap. Well, good thing there's lots of junkyards close. They'll Runs. be able to fix that thing by tonight. Yeah, ran into a mechanical. So Beanstra on his final lap in the lead now in our mini stock class. So Cannon will see the checkered flag. We'll take the top spot on the podium. It's Brian Cannon in the Cali Raps, followed by Rio Navarro in his own class. Open V8. Looks like uh, Madigan's going to come across in that second position. Venistra will win the mini stock. Rob Orr. Palmer. And this this is your Domino's driver. You might want to send your pizza back. Madigan there, so Thomas Madison comes in second behind Brian Cannon in the Mini Open. Reno Navarra, he'll win his class, but it's going to be Brent Venistra, Robert Orr, and Ryder Palmer. 
followed by Bill Madigan and Hunter Razalier. And somebody's getting a Domino's refund. So John will be here with the podium in just a few moments. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. More racing from the world-famous Glen Helen. It's round number seven of the Great American Short Course Series, presented by Optima Batteries. So Ryder Palmer in that third spot with Rob Orr in the number two and uh, Brent Veenstra, come on up here. Mini stock. Rob, good to see you up here. Come on up, Palm. Youth of a nation right here, Ryder Palmer. How about a round of applause? Your mini stock driver. And a uh, little cool little hundred bucks from your friends at k and Ryder, good job, good job out there, dude. How's it feel? Feels good to be back on the box. Uh, <laughs> had a lot of fun. These trucks are a whole bunch of fun. They're handful, slot geese. Handful on the track and off the track out here? Oh, yeah, off the track. Just going to junkyards, parts, parts. So, Dude, you don't got no nail. Are you only got dirt under those nails? Come on, bro. What are you talking about, Ryder? Who would you like to thank? I know you got a lot of people in your corner. I got a lot of people. I got RDR Motorsports. I got Public Scott's Garage. I got Balmer for the awesome sunglasses. I got 22 RE Performance. I got Mudbot and my grandparents and everyone that's come out here to support us. These guys are giving me some competition and everyone else just came out. That's Ryder Palmer right there taking home third in our mini stock class as we'll come on down here to uh, Rob. Or Rob, great to see you up here, buddy. And second place. Man, great day. Way to kick it off. How are you feeling? Feeling good. You know, anytime you can get on the podium, it's, it's a tough place to get. So anytime you get on the podium, you just got to appreciate it and then move forward and hope for the next time, you know. But, uh, it's a great race. These first four trucks are just so close. 
you know, sometimes it comes down to a battle of attrition, unfortunately, you know, because you want to see people finish. But uh, it's between the driver and truck that can actually finish the race, and uh, we happen to get up here, so I'm, I'm happy. I think that's exactly what we saw right there. It was a game of attrition here down to the line and, and got yourself up here in that number two spot. Who would you like to thank, Rob? I'd like to thank uh, everybody involved with putting on this the old Great American uh, short course, um, all the individuals that come out here and work their tail off way before we get here just so we can come out and play. Um, General Tire, phenomenal tires, really tough. Uh, Jeff War Designs, who built my truck. Uh, Coast Appliance, who helped support. And uh, the racers, great clean racing. Uh, all the people that come out and watch and the friends and family and my wife and parents and everybody. You know, just uh, it's, it's just a fun class. It's good fighting. And uh, I got lucky and got up there. Great group of uh, community that we have out here for the Great American Short Course Series. And Rob, you certainly being one of those, we appreciate you continually standing behind us and up here on the podium in that number two spot. Round of applause for Rob or here in our mini stock class. And uh, Vistra, dude, take it home. Uh, man, not only uh, 100 bucks from our friends here, but it looks like you got the cutest little thing here on your arm. Uh, it's got to feel good sitting in this top spot. Yeah, it always was good sitting on the podium. I mean, there's nothing better, there's no better place to be in the top. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Uh, I know uh, you have a lot of people in your corner, Brent. Who would you like to thank? And I need to thank all my friends and family for coming out here and supporting me. Uh, you know, it's a team effort to get all these trucks out here and, you know, race. So I need to thank all my, my friends, my, my, my family, and my friends. And Mike. And Mike. And Mike. Yeah. <laughs> You, got, you can feel the emotion up here, man. It's got to feel good. And big congratulations to you, Brent, and uh, all your wonderful team and for all your hard work. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Brent Beamstra taking home the win right here for our mini stock main event. Big congratulations going out to all these drivers up here. Rob Orr in second. And Ryder Palmer round out your podium in third. All right. So the next group of drivers that we're going to get up here are mini open drivers. So we'd like to see... Thomas Madigan coming on up here for the number two spot. And Brian Cannon, your winner. All right, Thomas Madigan right here joined alongside me in that number two spot. Thomas got to feel good, and I uh, felt towards the end got faster, and uh, we're able to kind of like pull up a little bit here on uh, Cannon. Tell us about your race. Yeah, I'm just getting used to the truck. Uh, it's third time driving it. Uh, we had a lot of issues last round, and we, it looks like we worked them all out. We just got a more seat time. That's it. That's the name of the game, right? Seat time. We were talking about that, and it's tough, right? It's tough when you got a full-time job and uh, I'm sure kids in each arm. So, uh, Thomas, who would you like to thank? I know you got a lot of people in your corner as well. I'd like to thank my family, Jake, Chris. I mean, we weren't, didn't look like we were going to make it yesterday, but they pulled through and helped me get here. Uh, then I'd like to thank uh, PRP, UTV Distribution, UTV uh, Source. I got uh, Ultra Wheels, Ford, OMF, uh, and obviously uh, Great American Shore Course. There you go, Tom Madigan taking home that number two spot here for our mini open class. And uh, Brian, man, it's been a while since I've seen you up here on the podium, but you always have a lovely lady next to you when you do. Uh, great to see you, Brian. Man, always a pleasure. Dude, tell us about that race. Uh, it was pretty awesome. You know, uh, we had Reno out with the, with the open V8 truck, and off the line, I was kind of worried. I didn't want to get tangled up with the open bars and stuff, but I just kind of squeezed my way on the inside and scooted through. And it was clean racing. I just had to stay out front and, you know, try to keep it clean. Uh, the truck ran amazing. Uh, the tires, Mo, he grews up a heck of a set of tires, and those Falcons, man, they're digging. So, I mean, I just, you know, I got a lot of great people on my team, and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to be here for damn sure. So the race tip is just scoot it through. Yeah, keep scooting, baby. Keep scooting. Just keep scooting. Brian, you seem to be doing it well. Uh, man, who would you like to thank? Uh, well, I'd like to thank Falcon Tires for helping me up with tires and taking care of me. Uh, they picked me up this season. I'd like to thank uh, Cole Mamer, Mamer Motorsports. I mean, they were a big part of getting my truck even running right and set up right. Uh, Steve, he spotted for me today, and he was awesome. I mean, he kept me clean, kept me calm. My dad, he does so much work on that truck, it's not even funny. I mean, me and him, that's our weekends, that's our project. And my wife, thank God for her letting me do it. My daughter, you know, she's uh, always a big, you know, big uh, emotional, I mean, emotion helps me get my bearings, you know, and gets me going, you know. And uh, um, motion design for the fire suit, ultra wheels, uh, Cali Wrap Shops are keeping my truck looking on point, you know, uh, uh, shoot, 
And I said, oh, it's your wills. I think that's about. Yeah, I said motion to die. All right. And yeah, my wife, of course, she's me on point. So. And, of course, uh, everybody here at GAS for giving us a place to race at. I mean, I know how hard it is. I don't know, but I, I could imagine how hard it is to compose this series, get people out here, and come up with the cash to have as a place to race. And if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have a place to go and have fun. And uh, thank you very much, Lee and Poppy. There you go. That is the class act right there. And your winner for our mini stock class, please give it up. Our mini opening class, please give it up for Brian Cannon. Tom Madigan coming across in that number two spot here as they huddle in together here on the podium. And uh, so we'll get our open V8 drivers. Reno Navarro, come on up here, Reno. Because you're so special, you get a special trophy. Jump on up to this top spot. I want to hold you? Okay. Oh, I got off. You scared off the competition, so you get to uh, swarm the podium first, second, and third. Um, Reno, great to see you up here, man. Yeah, it's been a while, man. I appreciate everybody being out here. Uh, we're having a great time. Reno is like, I think he's like the John Force of off-road racing when he's up on the podium. Love this guy, Reno. Great to always, man. The trophy compliments you well. Yeah, so I uh, got to thank a lot of people, man. Right right out of the gate, first, Jesus Christ, the Lord above, keeping us all safe. I got to thank the Gutierrez friend. They're always with me. Uh, full circle, right? Full circle. I used to come in, or little Ricky would come in, and I'd tell him, open up this corner, do this, do that. So I came in, and he did the same to me now. I love you, buddy. That's what it's about, right? A little uh, feedback? Absolutely. Got to thank my uh, team, my whole team, Joel Collins and Isaac Collins. <laughs> yeah. But we're just out here having a, a good time, and Brian, man, he was awesome. He kept me honest and, and kept, Brian, thank you, bro. Great racing. But, yeah, everybody out here, this is a good time. Lee and Poppy, you guys keep this thing going. We love you all. Thank you for always bringing the good vibes. That is Reno Navarro, your Open V8 class winner here for round number seven. So, Dave, we'll send it back up to you. And uh, we got some more great racing ahead here on the dirt. Great American Short Course Series here at Glen Helen Raceway. Hot bike. Well, the great podium there. Boy, John had his work cut out for him on that one for sure. We got lots of great racing still to come, folks. So coming up next here, we've got Limited Buggy, 1600 Buggy. Then we're going to go with the Weather Racing SR1 UTVs. Modified Cards, Production 1000 UTVs.